gifts. But something else that's uh, always big on the Cape, uh, the Cape Town calendar, the Queen's Plate. And we're giving you now the chance to win your set of double tickets. Yes, it is that time for those sets of double tickets. But before we get there, let's talk about the Queen's Plate that's happening this weekend. Now, we all know that these uh, horse racing events has been crowned the sport of kings. But while it's not just about equestrian racing, it's also about style spotting. And hopefully, you've got your outfit ready. If you haven't got your outfit ready, we've got some fantastic tips to make sure that you get onto the best dress list and not onto the worst dress list. We've got our fashion director, Alexia Chauvet, as as well as director at the Little Hatchery, Dominic Marzala. Good morning. Good How morning. are you guys doing? Very, very well. So good to have you here. I'm very excited. Well, the, 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 you know, the, the Queen's Plate is one of those things that I thoroughly enjoy. But we need to talk about some important things for style tips. But before we get there, let's talk about how race day fashion has evolved over the years. You know, I think historically, I think race days, and we're talking like in modern history, which is, you know, the 19th century onwards. Yeah. Race days and equestrian events have always been a time when women can get together and really dress up yeah. and not just look at the horses because that's not really what we're interested in <laughs> and see what other people are wearing. And you know, of course, traditionally, yes, these are very, um, you know, horse racing events were called by royalty. Yes. So of course there was a dress code with that. Mm. You know, you really needed to keep it very tidy. And we still have some horse racing events in England where it's a very conservative dress code. Mm. Mm. Now, of course, the ladies let it all hang out a little bit more at race days, which is debatable, yes. um, but it definitely is a time to celebrate fashion as much as horses. Wonderful stuff. Now, of course, we want to see some visual representations. And as Alexis always does, she's brought us some <laughs> models. So Alexis, show us what we should be adopting when it comes to the race day and of course i want to find out from you dominic how essential is the hat okay but let's take a look at our first look today alexis so i mean this first look i mean absolutely lovely and this is just showing like a little peak of skin around nice. the middle but the rest of it i think it's a beautiful conservative length on the Very knee nice. and yeah i mean it's it's showing skin but it's still kind of covered up yeah and i mean dominic this hat is sensational yeah, well, you tend to go either with a hat or a fascinator. Yes. Of course, the first one we're seeing here is a fascinator. It's quite extravagant, delicate, also suiting the shape of the model, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's always a consideration. So if you're a little bit confused, always ask the person you're getting the hat made by, uh, and they'll always help guide you. Very nice. Well, I love this look. Let's take a look at our second look that you've prepared for us here. Very nice, very elegant, oh, gorgeous. So, I mean, this look for me just epitomizes the fact that you can be sexy and incredibly glamorous wow. at a horse racing event. This one would probably be more suited to maybe a polo event, which is a little bit more glitzy. And here you're showing some skin again and you're sheer and you've got lots of playful elements to it. Yeah. But it's not, you know, your knickers are not on display, yes. if, I, if I can say that. Yes. <laughs> you know, I think mom would love to see you in this outfit and it's very respectful. And I think really that is what for me, what horse racing events should be about is about glamour, it is about sophistication. Yeah, wonderful. And I mean, this hat, I mean, Dominique touched on how, you know, your hat will complement the, the girl as much as the outfit. And for me, you know, here, this is tying in, you've got the black on the shoe mm. with the black hat, playing with those black feathers at the bottom of the garment. And that is, you know, really essential in a race day look, is that it does need to be a complete exactly. outfit. Exactly, and that's where, that's where you come in at the Little Hatchery, because uh, maybe a fascinator would be a bit just too much for this, so you need to be able to say, this is what works and this is what doesn't work, right? Well, absolutely. You've got the beautiful feather work on the dress. So go for something clean, go for something elegant. Yeah. I, I think if, if you're gonna start a race day outfit, start with those two, two rules, clean and elegant, and then you can go extravagant afterwards. Nice. But if you get those right, then you're going in the right direction. Wonderful. First things first. And then our final model this morning looks absolutely beautiful as well. So, I mean, here, this is... You know, we were talking about it earlier before we went live. You know, sometimes women really do battle with trying to bring a theme into mm. their outfit. You know, there's that kind of that danger zone between looking like you're dressing up for a dress-up yes. party and, you know, getting that theme right. Yeah. So if you're going to an event where there is a colour theme, perhaps, bring it in with an accessory. Yes. If you don't want to go all in that colour, then just bring it in with the hat. I mean, this hat is so beautiful, this blue band, just exquisite. Yeah. Other things you can do, a lot of um, race day events have, you know, a theme, you know, like a um, made to conquer, for example. Yeah. Think about where that 
takes you in terms of accessories. Yeah. And it's you know, so easy to get caught up and take it too far. Exactly. Which, we, which, we, which we've That's all true. seen. That's true. Exactly. So take it subtly. Wear a beautiful dress that you're going to feel wonderful in yeah. and then add to it with your accessories with the hat. And the hat really is the perfect place to bring in that theme. What I like about the models that I've seen here, they all look very sexy, they look elegant, but something that I'm seeing more and more is that women are starting to let things just hang out. Is that okay or should we steer away from that? Well, I, I, I would say there are a lot of places uh, where you can do that and a horse race day probably isn't it. Yeah. Um, I, and look how beautiful <laughs> these ladies look. They do, they look and, absolutely beautiful. And as Alexis beautiful. was saying, you, you don't have to let it hang out to look sexy. Yeah. I always say, you know, you don't have to go naked to a horse racing event. It does not encourage the horses to go any faster. <laughs> That's so, <true>. Rather, <laughs> look beautiful, get onto those best dressed podiums, scoop yourselves up some amazing prizes because all these events, they do have these great best dressed prizes. Yeah. So really, you know, go all out. I think as women, we have so few occasions now, really, where we really can dress up. Yes. So these are just ideal occasions. I think really, you know, have fun with it. Wonderful. And some great tips from Dominic from The Little Hattery and, of course, our fashion director, Alexa, Alexa Chaffee. But we've got a fantastic competition for you this morning. You could walk away with five sets of double tickets, or rather one of five double tickets, to the Style Lounge. All you have to do is SMS the keyword Queen's Plate to 33728, followed by your name and your city, and you could be walking away with one of those tickets. And we'll be seeing you on Saturday at that fantastic horse racing event.